Jasper Shinitsa vs Nadalin Ristov. The first thing you notice about this handsome Polish puller on YouTube is his right hand match with fellow countryman Kamil Yablonski, where he beats the Golden Dragon with a confident ease. 25 years old, 6 foot 3, Kasper Shinitsa is rising through the ranks in 100 kg category and fast. His debut in KOTT 12 is against another debutant from Bulgaria who is equally good in his game and is here to stay. Nadalin Hristov's offensive top role is going to be a perfect match for the defensive over-the-top move of Shinitsa. Height advantage of Kasper is going to play a vital role and Hristov may get into an off-centered open top role quickly. My pick is Kasper Shinitsa for this one. Auden Larret vs Jay Yong Ha Auden is keeping his tradition of pulling bodybuilders come YouTubers come arm wrestlers alive and this time went a step further to have another exhibition match in his kitty by going against a South Korean bodybuilder come actor turned arm wrestler Mr. Jay Yong Ha. One of the participants in Netflix Physical 100 series, Jay Yong isn't new to arm wrestling though. He has pulled against names like Michael Todd and Yoshinobu Kana in the past and had fun matches with Larry Wheels as well. Short height and shorter livers of Korean Hulk is the only advantage Auden have on him. We might see Jay Yong getting dominated in the setup, immediately getting turned palm up and holding with his bicep until he eventually loses. Unless Auden go against the likes of Bacho, Reno, Daniar, Alchen or Alan Zoloev, I am not interested in his fun fairs and crazy antics. I leave the result of this one to Larret fans. Rob Vigen Jr. vs Nugur Chikadze Coming off a fresh 3-2 win against Alan Ford, RVJ is head over heels to prove his mettle once again on the international stage against a formidable adversary in Nugu Chikadze. If styles make matches, then this one is certainly going to be a clash of similar styles. Both Rob and Nugur likes to attack the fingers of their opponents keeping their Predator engaged. Their inside game is equally strong with amazing abilities of cupping low in a dragging hook comprises of a steady back pressure. While Chikadze's debut in East vs West 12 did not go as planned and he suffered a defeat against Pedro Maraharin, RVJ surely doesn't want the same fate for his debut in King of the Table. Rob's hand size may spell trouble for Nugur, but his speed and ferocity on the table can write the same story for RVJ as well. Sariye Kalanachenko vs Georgi Svetkov From losing a match against Alex Kurdeha to almost losing a foot in a bathroom accident, Georgi Svetkov has come a long way to break his losing streak that started with Devon Larratt in KOTT 9. His adversary, on the other hand, has just defeated two of the sport's greatest legends in left and right-handed bouts. After sweeping Dave Chafee with his left, and Travis Bajant with his right, Sariye Kalanachenko eyes his next victim in Svetkov. And he looks ready. It is not going to be an easy task for the Bulgarian giant coming fresh off an injury to take a monster like Kalina. The table on September 28 shall be drenched in blood and sweat and Ukraine will take the victory, at least in this war. Cody West vs Kamil Yablonski Practice pulls with Michael Todd have finally started to pay off for the Gorilla and he is on his way to become the number one left-handed arm wrestler in the world. After Travis, the second in line for Cody is Kamil Yablonski, who is coming fresh off a loss by the right hand of Cody's training partner. Kamil's left pulls different strings altogether in the orchestra of push and press. Michael's weird style may have stopped his press inches above the pin pad, but Corey is up against the wrath of the dragon's left. Monster must have given some tips to Corey on how to counter the deadly dead wrist press, and he can surely stop it for a round or two. But the gas tank of Gorilla is going to give up, and Kamil shall take his revenge in this one. Alex Kurdeha vs Artem Morozov 
the memory of Alex smashing the table in an ecstatic rage in his left-handed encounter with Artem in East vs West 11 is still fresh in our minds and soon we are in for another banger on September 28 in Dubai. Though he lost that left-handed fight, the performance of Alex certainly went down in the history books as his best. He gave Morozov a run for his money and won against Georgi Svetkov in East vs West 12 as well. Proving his dominance on the left hand around the world, Artem is going for the same with his right too. A 3-0 loss against Vitali Lalatin in East vs West 13 may tell a different story, but Artem looks ready and well prepared. I can see this match going to a silver bullet and predict Alex to win it. Devon Larratt vs Leonidas Arcona When Devon says he's the best left-handed arm wrestler in North America and try to back it up by taking on a guy who is at least a mile below his caliber, we are left with no option but to believe him. This skinny version of Devon is not the one you can bet your money on. I mean, he barely saved his hubris in a match with Chance Shaw. After ducking Dadikyan and Petrenko, Devin is trying to test his skinny frame against an upcoming talent in Leonidas Arcona. Beating John was a feat Arcona couldn't achieve with his right, so he is trying to redeem himself by beating Larratt with his left. If pulling John was tough, then beating Devin is going to be a nightmare for Leonidas. I give this one to Devin in a straight 3-0 victory. If you like my content and love arm wrestling, then like, share and subscribe. Keep healthy, keep hustling. This is Nitin Watts signing off.